All right, guys, so here is the last demonstration. I'm using the Chromebook so you all understand the process. Uh, this should, should be fairly easy for you. So what I've done is I'm going to photop.com. I'm going to try to do this demonstration to help you and give you time. So everybody should have their Chromebook out, ready to go at the beginning of this demonstration, and I'm going to walk you through it. All you have to do is pay attention and follow my steps as I'm going through this process. It should be a very easy process. So while I'm discussing this, you all need to go to photop.com right here. And then you need to go to Google on another tab. And as I stated before, the Chromebook's processing speed's not the best. So uh, what I've done is I typed in Joe Burrow, high quality. Make sure you have an image with a decent background. And one thing you need to notice right here on the bottom right, the first number needs to be at least 1,200. Again, the first number needs to be 1,200. And the reason it needs to be that is because you want to make sure you have high quality. Secondly, you are going to have your individual picture. Okay, so I took a picture of myself, a little selfie, pretty simple. Okay. All right, so that being said, now that everybody's got PhotoP open, we're going to go to our first image, and I'm going to double finger click, and I'm going to go down to Save Image As. Okay, now, once it does that, I'm going to click Show in a Folder just to make sure it says Joe Burrow. And apparently that was like during the Steelers. So I can show it in the folder, make sure it's there. I can rename it, whatever the case may be. Okay, now, this is your step-by-step -step process. This is going to ensure that everybody's on the same page on this process. Okay, throughout the whole day. And there it is, Joe Burrow, Steelers 1. Okay, so I'm going to close that out. All right, so now we're on to the photo P. And I'm going to give everybody some time to kind of catch up. But this is not a situation where you're going to need to waste time. You're going to need to stay on task. You're going to need to stay in your seat. You're going to need to focus because everything that we're doing, I'm giving you an opportunity and the time so you can complete this effectively. Okay, so now that we have our picture saved, and again, I'm going to go back to the picture, double finger tap, save image as, okay? Uh, you might want to go ahead and do the same thing with your other picture, but the cool thing about that, you know, I might need to just download that right there, okay? So I've got an actual download option because that is in my Google Drive. If you took your picture with your Chromebook, then it'll also be in your Google Drive. If your camera does not work, then you need to choose an image, something to this. This is your number two image, like some type of selfie, okay? All right, so now we're going to get on to the magic cut process, okay? Uh, I will be passing out some step-by-steps uh, for students that do not have the Chromebook charged or do not have a Chromebook. I will have uh, it set up in the green square on what you're going to do to take notes. Um, that being said, let's move on. We're going to go to File. We're going to go to Open. <clears throat> Okay, now what we want to do is as this opens, I'm going to go to Recents right here. I'm going to let it open. And again, as I discussed before, this is going to take some time because the Chromebook does not have blazing speed when it comes to the processor, okay? So this is the time that you can use 
Uh, you know, I understand that you know, there is some frustration sometimes uh, when you're using your Chromebook and we're editing. So, uh, but this is a web-based program. So you can, you know, use this at any point with your Chromebook. In this case, it's not one to open. So I'm going to go back to cancel and I'm going to go to file open again. And I know that this is probably taking a little bit longer because I'm copying my screen. I'm casting my screen here, doing a screencast uh, to make sure that you all see what it looks like on a Chromebook. Okay. So on the bottom left, it says establishing a connection. Just give it some time. Just be very patient. And then in this case, I'm going to go to Recents. And it should have my two pictures there. That's the best way to do it. I always go through Recents. And I'm just going to give it some, some uh, time to open up. I mean, if it takes a minute, that's fine. Uh, this will just give you some time to catch up. Also, Photopea has ads. And that might, you know, be a factor as well. So let's just give it some time. All right, so here we go. I've got a couple pictures there. There's Joe Burrow. Uh, I'm going to select Joe Burrow and open it up. And it's going to load. All right, so remember, you can hit Control Plus or Minus to zoom in. In this case, it was already large. Okay, so now we're doing our magic cut <coughs> process. So let me... Minimize that. Okay, so you want to click on background. Make sure you click that layer. The layers are on the right. And then you're going to go click on select and choose magic cut. Okay. And like I said, it's still establishing secure connection, so it's taking a minute. So give it a second. You know, I'll click on it and see if it'll open for me. Okay, now in this case, I'm going to wait because it takes a minute. There it is. All right, so I'm going to hit Control Plus uh, to zoom in just a little bit. Again, any kind of movement like you're making, uh, it, uh, it's going to take a second because it is a Chromebook. So don't sweat that process. Um, okay, so. And it potentially could lock up, too. So hopefully it doesn't lock up right here. Um, but if it does, it does. All right, so here I've zoomed in. What I'm doing is I'm going to use the green to color everything that I want to keep. So in this case, the shoulder pad on the left is not visible. Okay, so I'm going to take the green. on the shoulder pad and hopefully this will work okay so it's it's kind of it's freezing on me a little bit but that's okay i'm gonna hang tight all right i'm gonna hang tight 